Hey Blender fans, here's a new one about PBR Texture Painting with Blender 2.8. So I created this new project here and I want to texture paint this cube, but before I can do this I have to prepare it. I go to edit mode, press Ctrl and B and add this small bevel. This is just to make it look a bit more appealing at the edges. And after that I do a simple unwrap, I select this face so that it is the active one, then I press A to select all. And with this selection I press U and choose Follow Active Quartz. Ok, and now it's time to select a new workspace and this is called Texture Paint. In this workspace you have a UV image editor on the left side and a 3D view on the right side, but you can use both for painting. Before I start I want to scale down the UVs so that they match the texture. So I select View instead of Paint, press A to select all, then S to scale down the UVs and then I press G and center them in the UV image editor. And now the mesh is prepared for painting. In the 3D view I change again to texture paint, because now we are in edit mode I press tab and go to texture paint. And to start adding the base color for the model, I select the tool panel and add a new paint slot and for this I choose base color. Then I have to define the name, the size and the color for this new paint slot and I create a 2K texture and for the color I choose a blue tone. It should be displayed already after creating the texture, this is an update bug of Blender 2.8, but I can toggle the shading and also set the correct image in the image editor and now the base color is set up. I press F3 and find smooth shading and I enable the scene lights and also hide the overlays. Ok, this looks nice, don't forget to save the image. After you saved it, there is a button to save all the images in the tools panel, but you have to save an image with save as one time. Ok, this is my base color image. I press save and then I could go ahead and choose a different color and paint either onto the image or onto the model. Ok, but I don't want to paint with colors now, I want to paint in height information and to do this I add another paint slot. And for this paint slot I select Bump. So this will be a bump or height map, it doesn't contain color data. The height map that I add here is filled with a grey tone between black and white and white means we are adding height and black we are subtracting height. So I select the paint slot with the bump map and you can see in the UV image editor that the map has changed. And now I can go ahead and choose a black tone and paint with black onto the model and this looks like I'm kind of carving into it. I press F to reduce the size of the brush and then I paint with black and this is the result. Looks really interesting like adding damage to the model and what I can do now as well is to choose the smear brush and smear around the edges a bit to make it look more realistic. Ok, that's a nice effect and of course you can also add some height, so I switch again to the text draw brush and choose a white tone. And with that selected I add height and this example with this round brush, it looks a bit like screws or knobs. So the last paint slot that I want to show you is the roughness. This roughness information is also painted in with black and white tones, so the principle is the same as for the height map. If you want to paint more rough areas then you use a white tone and if you use a black tone you can add areas to the model that looks shiny and wet. Don't forget to save the maps, that's important. 
And after that I go back to the roughness map, turn the color to black and then I paint onto the model and it really looks like as if we have some wet areas here. Ok, very nice, and when I switch now to a white tone, then I can paint in rough parts. And of course you can also use the smear brush for these maps to make the transitions of the color values more smooth. And keep in mind all these modifications have no effect on the geometry. So when you go to edit mode you can see this is your mesh. This is your geometry. The model looks very complex, but this is just a fake. You painted this information just to the textures, not to the geometry. Ok guys, let's open the shader editor, just to have a look on the material. And here you can see the principal shader with all the maps that we added. And these correspond to the paint slots. The nodes for the roughness and the bump map are set to non-color data. You don't have to set this manually, it is done for you when you added the paint slots. Ok, that's it again, if you have any questions add these to the comments below. If my channel is useful and interesting for you, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And consider being my patron, this would help me to create more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support and I'll see you on JNM.